Question number 16 says a piece of solid weighs 12 gram in air and 8 gram in water. The relative density of solid is. Dear students, let sigma be the density of the solid and rho be the density of water. In the first case, we can write down that W1 that is the initial weight will be equal to sigma V into G that is the weight in the air and in the second case the weight will be sigma minus rho Vg. On dividing these two equations we find out that W1 by W2 would be equal to sigma by sigma minus rho and this will be equal to 12 by 8 is equal to sigma minus sigma minus rho. On solving, we find out the value of sigma by rho and this turns out to be equal to 3. And hence, option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 17. Question number 17 says the angle of contact at the interface of water class is 0 degree, ethyl alcohol glass is 0 degree, mercury glass is 140 degrees and liquid X glass is 25 degrees. A glass capillary is put in a beaker containing one of these four liquids. It is observed that the meniscus is convex. The liquid in the beaker is. Dear students, a convex meniscus means that the angle of contact is obtuse. In the given examples, the angle of contact is obtuse only for the mercury glass interface. Which means, answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us proceed to the question number 18. Question number 18 is a question based on streamline flow. It says that in a streamline flow, option number 1, the velocity of a fluid particle remains constant. Option 2, the velocity of all fluid particles crossing a given position is constant. Option number 3, the speed of a particle remains constant. Or option 4, that is, the velocity of all fluid particles at a given instant is same. Dear students, here option number 2 is the correct answer. That is, in a streamlined flow, at a given position, the velocities of all the fluid particles crossing that position have the same velocity, which makes option number 2 as the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the next question of the test, which is question number 19. Question 19 says a small hole of area of cross section 1 mm square is present near the bottom of a fully filled open water tank of height 4.9 meters. The rate of flow of water through the hole would be. Dear students, the velocity with which the water flows out can be calculated from the velocity of a flux that is V is equal to under 2 gh where h is the height up to which the water is filled up. It is given that the height is 4.9 meter. On substituting the values we can write down that it will be 2 into 9.8 into 4.9 and that will be equal to 9.8 meter per second. The rate of flow of water through the hole would be equal to the area of the hole multiplied by the velocity and this will be equal to 10 raised to power minus 6 meter square that is the area multiplied by 9.8. So this will be equal to 9.8 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter cube per second. This will be equal to 9 0.8 centimeter cube per second and hence option number 4 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 20. Question 20 says two liquids having relative densities rho 1 and rho 2 are mixed together. When they are mixed in equal volume then the relative density of mixture is 4.5 and then when mixed in equal mass relative density of mixture becomes 4. The values of rho 1 and rho 2 may be. Dear students for equal volume that is case 1 the density of the mixture will be equal to rho 1 plus rho 2 by 2. It is given to be equal to 4.5. In the second case, that is when they are mixed in equal masses, the rho of mixture is equal to 2 rho 1 rho 2 by rho 1 plus rho 2. It is given to be equal to 4. The students on solving these two equations, we find out that rho 1 into rho 2 is equal to 18 and rho 1 is equal to 6, rho 2 is equal to 3 which means option number 1 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 21. 